And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yogi National Gymnasium in the second gymnasium. We've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off in the red corner. We know to Philip Kimura taking on in the blue. No man, I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's break this down. Okay, so Kimura, or Philip as he likes to be known from his Brazilian heritage, has a two centimeter height advantage and is nine years younger. Both orthodox though, so this should be interesting. Yeah, some uh, reserve match action here for the tournament, so the winner has the possibility of um, someone in the tournament can't continue because of injury to make it in. So this is big for these guys. Right, so really, not only uh, do they want the win, but they want to win with as little damage and with as much energy conserved as possible. Yes, exactly. And that's what makes this tournament so interesting. Is there's so much strategy to it. You want to win, but yeah, the, the more hurt you get, you can't just get go crazy in there because you carry that into your next match. Yeah, it's not a one-shot deal. Now look at Komodo at the moment, how he's just, he's looking for that left. He, he, he tried to counter that left early, and I think that's what he's going to try and do throughout this fight. He's looking towards the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's definitely assumed a position he's going to be loading up his hands here rather than his legs. Mm -hmm. Some there low with that left lead hand too, maybe want to snap the jab out, draw his attention, his opponent's attention elsewhere. Mm. I'm seeing a little bit of a front foot counter puncher in moments with Kimura at the moment. It's almost like he just wants to come forward and just try and make his opponent make a mistake and capitalize on it. But he's got these big guns and he's gonna to plan to get some respect for, from them and hopefully bring no man into a, a bit of a hesitant state. Yeah, he's leaving his guard a little low, but he's not, um, he's not wasting any energy. He's just kind of walking No Man down here. And yeah, you can see, even though No Man blocked the hook and the straight that uh, Kimura threw there previously, even just absorbing those things on your guard has got to hurt. You can see Kimura's got a little bit of a red pack on his left side of the body. So oh, there's that left. Ooh, there's a liver shot. Body shot. Nice little fade to the left there to set that thing up really clean. Yep, yep. Because he's been looking quite static, and then boom. Here we go. I like this. It's just a little more footwork from Kimura, so he doesn't even needlessly eat some of these strikes, but man, that was a beautiful left hand. No man's trying to compensate right now. He's felt a couple of those hard shots, and he's like, ooh, I don't want that on the face, but I can't let him know that. Sure. I can't let him know he's bought my respect. I've got, I've got to start throwing. And that's what he's thinking. I don't know how much strategy is behind it, but that's what he's thinking. Yeah, you can just see um, by the the posture and stance of no man here that uh, he's just uncomfortable because he's got <laughs> a guy in front of him that throw, is throwing some heat. Well, he's got such a large KO percentage. I mean, you know what he's coming in and doing. Mm -hmm. And um, and everyone thinks they're going to be able to take it until you feel it on the gloves. There go, a little bit of uh, footwork there from Kimura. And when he wants to use it, boy, he's fast. Yeah. At the moment, he's quite happy being quite upright, quite static. He just wants to make no man do something, just pressure him to do something, and then shoot in those gaps. He's looking at that left again. Look at the smile on his face. Yeah, oh geez. Just, uh, yeah, like a wild animal licking his chops before digging in. Look at this, look at this. All this young energy. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely got some, some style to go with the massive power. Well, you don't be happy with that round if you're in Kimura's corner because you're thinking didn't take much damage, quite energy efficient, clearly did enough to win the round. No man's got to go back and save his corner. Okay, they hurt my hands, those punches. Mm -hmm. I've, got to, I've got to come at my box a little bit more and do something different because the world saw that. Yeah, you know, I, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the, the old strategy for kickboxing, but no man needs to start kicking the legs. He needs to throw more kicks, and a lot of kicks. To stop the punch and onslaught. You know, the, the front kick could be a good tactic to keep some distance. Kick the lead leg of Kimura inside and low. Um, but yeah, when you have to contend with those punches, man, it just makes everything that you do um, just that much more difficult. I'm looking forward to seeing what No Man pulls out of his toolbox. Hey, yeah, hey, I've got a feeling he's going to start hey, fast here because he's going to be like, I've got to, I've got to lay it down now. This is where it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no, it'll, it'll take, um, take some, some strategy and some, yeah. some bravery here on No Man's Part. Well, here we go, round two in this reserve match, kicking it off right now. Here it is, spinning tactics. 
Ooh. Yeah, not bad. He's, he's definitely getting in there. Um, Ooh, but that liver shot again. Hanging at, hanging at that, that middle distance is just dangerous on there. You know what he's opened up and Kamura said, OK, you want to play that game? Fill some of this. And I think No Man's now thinking, Ooh, I don't know if I want to keep doing that. Yeah, well, Norman just looks a little bit, you know, he's, he's hesitant to commit, which um, you just can't, you can't hesitate, you just have to commit to what you do, and if he picks a spot, the lead leg, inside or outside, you know, would probably be a good place to go. Well, absolutely, and there's, there's no risk in what, I mean, there's, there's no risk adversity here. There's just some areas that have higher risk and some areas that have lower risk. Pick one, go for it. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to see it coming if it's coming. Just, you've got to go for it. Well, and you could you could play a real you know tentative defensive game and, and maybe make it a survive the match. But if you want to win, you've got to get in there. You only got you know we're already a minute deep in the second oh. round. You know, no man's really got to drop that elbow a little bit more because he's I don't think it's a knockdown, but he's landing that left to the liver so regularly. Here it is again. Yeah. Well, and, and the, you know, you, you don't recover from that. It, it sticks with you, that damage to your body. You just carry it round around. All those toxins spill out into the bloodstream, slowing you down. I've got sympathy for Kamura, though. He's got the same issue as I do. That skin. Uh, it shows everything. <laughs> yeah, sure. It shows everything. Five minutes in the sun, it shows. One moment, bang yep. off a door, <laughs> it shows. It always looks bad to the judges. A little bit off balance there. Yes, no, you are absolutely right. I too suffer from this affliction. <laughs> Get inside. Nice little uh, combo there. Not looking for much, just looking for an opening. But yeah, there's there's so much you know potential here with Kimura. I feel like he still is. He, 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 he could do. He could he could pick the pace up a little bit more. He could do more with his feet. He's got such raw power. Um, but yeah, there's there's no there's no reason that um, if he if he turns it up a little bit here that he can finish this within the distance. Absolutely. Well, doesn't he fight out of the purge gym in Tokyo? I mean, like he's still so young. They're going to develop him so far. I mm. mean, he's clearly got the raw materials. And look, he's looking at those counters now. Look at that. No man's in a position now where he's hesitant to throw. He's, he knows what's coming back. He doesn't want any more of it. Yeah. It's a matter of survival for yes, him. Yes, yes, no, exactly. He's in survival mode now, which, you know, you can, you can survive the fight, but you've got one round left to go. If you win this match, it could be a huge opportunity. Uh, you can see it in the tournament at some point, but, uh, yeah, no, I think it's all they can do right now to just try to make a good fight. Absolutely, I think it doesn't matter what No Man's Corner is going to say right now, we all know he's going to come out and try and survive. Mm -hmm. uh, in Kimura's Corner, they're probably going to say, listen, don't go for a knockout, don't go for anything reckless, you could have a tournament here. Yeah. You know, just keep him in his box and uh, finish out the round. No, no, you're absolutely right. And uh, yeah, he's, he's just, he's got such a healthy lead at this point. As long as Kimura doesn't eat a crazy high kick or a spinning backfist, just keep your guard up. Stay busy with your hands. Um, yeah, but don't don't risk don't risk a potential shot to enter the tournament at some point. Well, certainly we're going to see more of those spinning tactics from the moment when he comes out because uh, as much as he's in survival mode, every now and then he's going to want to test the water. He's not a completely dead target. Yeah, well, Sailor it's kind of you know, hail mary time at this point. So if he's going to close the deal. It's got to be something big and surprising. Lassi, Lassi. Yeah, good to see. That's right, well here we go, round three of this reserve match of the 65 kilogram world tournament. Um, Kamara has those moments where he looks for a gap in the guard, and then he has those moments where he's like, I'm just going to punch that guard down, I'm going through it. Well, that's, a, that's a great thing that he does, is um, he doesn't let the guard um, of his opponent keep him in the And that's, you know, some guys, when they're boxing, have trouble, they feel like they've always got to be hitting a clean open target, but you know, when you're with someone good, those those opportunities aren't going to be there. You've got to punch the guard to create openings. Absolutely. Early in your career, you know, you might be against a position that could give you openings, but later on, no, you have to create them. You have to punch your way through them. And, and look at No Man when he's getting hit and the way he's going back. It's not it's not a good look for the judges. He needs more lateral movement. Yeah, his guard is just being smashed to bits. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be his hands in the morning. No, no. <laughs> 
hand, that right hand, the way it you know, kind of sets that up with the jab or the quick sort of slapping left hook. He just throws that right hand down the middle. Ooh. Sneaky. A little sweep there. Yeah. Liver hunting again. Mm -hmm. That's, that's got to have taken a toll and had a huge impact on this round. It's great, you know, that Kimura puts such commitment into his punches, his shoulder, his hip, everything. You know, it's a great, um, if, you're, if you're watching here and wondering how you know, Kimura gets all that power, I'm sure some of it is, is um, God-given, as they say, but he really has good technique. He really turns everything into his shot. He really does, and it's an absolute pleasure to watch it really is. Um, I wish he'd do, he, I was about to say, I wish he'd do less single shots and open up, and there it is. Yeah, yeah. Play a little bit with the rhythm, some fast, some light, and enunciate at the end of the combo. Well, I think we've got a minute to go here, and I think no man's settled for survival. I think he just wants to stay on his feet, which is by no means a guarantee if he doesn't move and revolve a bit more. Sure, sure. Yeah, he kind of just got, you know, in this match, um, Kimura was able to buy so much respect from him now with those hard shots over the guard, he really couldn't do much. It makes such a huge difference getting that respect to him. it really does. The whole momentum of the fight, oh, no man doesn't want to be here, stop being static, move. Yeah, yeah, just move, move, move. Come on, you're not going to do much in 20 seconds that you haven't done. There it is. Oh my gosh, you just clear out. Absolutely. I don't see those shots up. I honestly don't think that was actually anywhere significant. I just think he can't absorb any more impact yeah. off of his yeah. body. That could have just been dark. The last Hail Mary there. Really? He will make it out, but man, he took some hard shots. Well, Kamura's got to be happy. I mean, a good clean win, a little damage done. And no sign of burning out. He didn't gas himself. No, no, no. He, he was, you know, he played it smart here. He wins the match. Didn't take too much damage. Didn't use too much energy. Looked good. Um, yeah, was able to pretty much yeah, fight a pretty one-sided fight. Maybe he gets to enter the tournament here later on. No, oh, man, it's to go back to his corner and pain. Yeah. It's, it's a lot different from here. Kamura is smiling, having a chat. No, oh, man's like, I've absorbed a truck. Yeah. He, uh, is something else. That power is very I'm, I'm sure you ask his opponents, have you ever felt someone punch like that in your weight position? I would say most of them say no. No surprises there. Doubt we'll see more. More in the future. He definitely possesses a special punching skill set. Absolutely. For a fighter like that, you, you've got to spar out your weight division. Here we go. What was it? Yeah, kind of got buzzed, and then yeah, yeah. Just uh, it's probably a smart idea to hit the deck there. <laughs> I think there was some <laughs> yeah. conscious fault there. Yeah. yeah. Of like, my legs are going anyway, let's speed up the process. I'll dodge something. Oh, oh, no shame in that, that move there, man. <laughs> but if it's between that and taking another one, hey, I know which way I'm going. Yeah, yeah, take me down, let me fight another day. There's always something on the camera. Just, you, know? yeah, you were absolutely right. Well, there you have it, the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan. K1 65 kilogram world tournament at the Yoyogi National Gymnasium, the second gymnasium. We will see you next time.